Now, a Dutch investigator working on a crash says the Malaysian Airways flight MH17 could have been shot down by another plane over Ukraine. Russia has long said a Ukrainian fighter jet may be responsible. Investigators say a ground-to-air missile attack is the more likely scenario. They also added a final conclusion will be hard to reach with the limited information available. Dutch investigators are now planning to ask Moscow about its information that led Russia to claim a Ukrainian aircraft was nearby at the time of the tragedy, which claimed almost 300 lives. For more on all this, let's speak to Richard Bloom, an expert on aviation security at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona. Richard, welcome to the programme. How likely is it that the plane was crashed what was uh, shot down from the air well based on all the data i have collected people i've spoken with uh, my own applied research i think it would be highly unlikely it was shot down by another aircraft at the moment i believe it is highly likely it was shot down by a surface-to-air missile, probably with a standoff explosive capability, which means the missile didn't hit the aircraft directly, but exploded near the aircraft, and then uh, shrapnel and various collateral damage from the uh, surface-to-air missile penetrated the aircraft and uh, forced it down. Well, what evidence could help the Dutch investigators find out the actual reason of the crash? Will they ever be able to get this evidence, do you believe? Well, that's a very interesting question. Uh, anyone listening to your show right now, myself, you, we all have our own criteria and our own threshold, which will allow us to believe anything at all. When it comes to the uh, Dutch in investigative teams and the people involved with that and the people who are helping them, there are really two issues. There's a physical issue, uh, exactly what uh, interacted with the aircraft from a mechanical point of view, uh, what hit it, uh, the physical causes, applied physics, things of that sort. Probably a more interesting issue uh, would be psychological in nature. Okay. Who was responsible? Uh, what intention did they have? And there's actually an interaction between the physical and the psychological, especially in a political context. And that's what makes this uh, ongoing story uh, so interesting to many people. Well, the preliminary report released last month by the Dutch was based on photos from the scene of the crash. Is that enough, in your opinion, to draw conclusions? Well, from a physical point of view, you have uh, many different kinds of data that would be uh, helpful. Uh, static photographs would be one kind, uh, but you have various kinds of uh, satellite capabilities, various kinds of voice intercept capabilities. Uh, I think I've um, spoken to a number of people uh, already about this particular story. There's no question in my mind uh, that several intelligence agencies affiliated with uh, various governments have classified data, which would increase the probability we know exactly what would happen from a physical point of view. That still leads to a psychological issue, however. Well, that just leads on to my next question, because a couple of weeks ago, it was reported that German intelligence has proof the plane was down by anti-government forces from eastern Ukraine, but none of it was made public. Why do you think that was? Well, first of all, I think that story, that German story you just mentioned, uh, is the most likely at the moment. But in terms of releasing information, if it's related to intelligence and somehow people have gotten a hold of it, uh, people often want to protect the sources and methods used to collect the information. Sometimes there's a commercial issue about how much money you might be able to get to release information. Sometimes the information is much more uh, ambiguous than one might think or one might claim. So there are a number of physical and psychological and political issues all interacting, which I think have given the story a lot of interest to many people. Dr. Richard Bloom, expert on aviation security in Arizona. Thank you very much for speaking to us this hour. Thank you for having me.